So now that we're dealing with the area between two curves, we have to take both of those curves into account when we integrate. In order to do that, we subtract them. We take the top function, subtract the bottom function. So based on that graph that you see in example 1, we're going to integrate from negative 1 to 2. Okay, those vertical lines are still the same. Our top function is f of x. So x squared minus 2x plus 3. Subtract our bottom function, negative 1 minus x squared, dx. It's important that we do this top function minus bottom function or else the integration won't work. Before we actually integrate this, we'll simplify it out. Distribute that minus in. and combine like terms. Now we can go ahead and integrate this. Simplify. And evaluate that at 2 and negative 1. So we'll have to find f of 2 subtract f of negative 1. Substitute in 2. Get a common denominator. Work that out, we get 28 over 3. F of negative 1, same process. Get a common denominator in place. get negative 17 over 3. Come back to the left, substitute, F, F, sorry, substitute in f of 2, that is, and f of negative 1, get 45 over 3, that simplifies down to 15, and since this is an area, 15 units squared.